Hey everybody, Jay at Lock and Lube, and today we are talking about our relocation manifold kits. Now this is a totally customizable solution to relocate those troublesome fittings that are hard to reach into a single access manifold somewhere on your machine. I'm gonna show you what's included with the kit, and then we're gonna get into how to assemble it because these are totally customizable. So, what's included in the kit? First off, you get your manifold. Now you can choose the number of fittings that you want in the manifold depending on your machine and how many fittings you're trying to relocate. For example, we've got three here. Now on the top, you've got your grease fittings covered with dust caps, and on the bottom, your compression fittings that are going to accept the hose that we're using to relocate from the fitting. And you've also got your mounting hardware so that you can mount this on the machine in a convenient place. So there's your manifold. In addition to the manifold, you've got your hardware. So the hoses will be capped by uh, an end here and a hose barb that goes inside of it. Later in this video, we're gonna show how easy it is to set those up and install those. And then we've also got some elbows that we're gonna use to replace the grease fittings on the machine uh, that will also accept the other end of the hose barb. And then of course, you have your hose. This hose has been pre-filled with grease and has a working pressure of over 12,000 PSI. So super high quality, super flexible, pliable hose that's been pre-filled with grease so you don't have to worry about air pockets or air bubbles when you first start using your relocation kit. We're gonna include about three meters of hose for every grease fitting so that you can cut it to length and you'll have ample grease, or sorry, ample grease hose to use uh, to relocate those fittings wherever they may be located. Now, with that, that's the overview of what's included with the kit, and now we're gonna get into what it looks like to set this up and get the hose cut and ready for installation. The first step is gonna be cutting the hose to length. Uh, for our purposes, we're gonna be using a pipe cutter. A uh, PVC pipe cutter works really well. Now, if you don't have one and you have a pocket knife or something that will work, you just wanna to try to get a nice straight edge on it so that when you put the threaded tube on, it bottoms out evenly onto the end of that hose. So we'll cut a couple feet here, um, like I said, just for the purposes of this demonstration. For this, all you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter wrench. Now, for the threaded sleeve, it is a reverse thread, so you're gonna be uh, screwing it on counterclockwise. I still, no matter how many times we do this, I still think righty tighty lefty loosey, and in this case, you gotta reverse it. And you'll see the reason for that, because once you get the hose barb on there, that's gonna screw in the other way, and they're gonna interlock. All right, so you can see that it is now all the way down. It's been, it's bottomed out on the hose. This threaded sleeve has gone down around the outside of the hose, and the hose barb is gonna go down on the inside of the hose. And between the two of them, they're gonna create a super secure connection. The great thing about it too, is if for any reason you needed to change things around, reuse this length of hose, wanted to use it on a new machine, whatever it might be, uh, these are easy to disconnect, uh, just as they're easy to connect. So we're gonna work this down into the hose and then grab our 10 millimeter wrench, secure, the, secure that end with our other wrench. And there it'll get really nice and snug at the end as the two metal pieces connect and your hose barb is fully installed. So there we have one end that is capped off and ready to go. We'll finish off the other end and then we'll get this connected into the manifold and what we're gonna use to represent the machine here on the table. All right, so nice and snug. And there you have it. Both ends of this hose have been capped and are ready to use. Let's connect this hose into our relocation manifold kit. And for the purposes of this video, this is our machine. This is our pressure gauge with a grease fitting on the end. We're gonna pop this out and replace it with our elbow so you can see how this works. All right, so we removed the grease fitting. In this case, this is an eighth inch NPT grease fitting, which means that all we need to do is include, uh, use the included elbow. So this elbow, we'll get this in. Snug it up and 
and I'll show you how this installs. So this is a, this compression fitting here is like a, it's a nut and ferrule system. So there's a ferrule inside here that's gonna grab on to the hose barb and secure this. So we simply push that down until it bottoms out, tighten up that nut by hand, and then snug it down to secure this. All right, so now I'm not able to pull that hose barb out. You can see even pulling on the hose, this end is very secure. So we'll push that down and lock it into place. And then on the other end, we're gonna go into our manifold here. Same compression fitting, same process. Now we've got this out here, push that in till it bottoms out and secure it with our 12 millimeter wrench. All right, so now we have our manifold block connected all the way over to our pressure gauge with our new grease line, our elbow adapter, and our grease fittings on the top. So let me grab my grease gun and then we will be able to test this out. Perfect, all right, so we've got our grease fitting here out in the open. And we'll start putting a little grease in. And there we go, yeah, we're at 1,000 PSI. And with this awkward grip, that's about all I'm gonna be able to do. So, um, good to see, got up to 100 bar, just shy of 2,000 PSI. Everything's holding just fine, it looks great. And that is the relocation manifold kit from Lock and Lube. Thanks very much for watching. For more information, check out lockandlube.com.